what do I think are the benefits of digital pathology? Well, the first is efficiency. And I can look at the efficiency of doing digital pathology and break it down into the first is ergonomics. Those of us pathologists who have done surgical pathology will understand that after several hours of looking down a microscope tube, that isn't the best ergonomic setup for duration and for comfort. But I can tell you firsthand that sitting in a comfortable office chair, looking at a 24-inch high-definition monitor and using your mouse and scroll bar is much more ergonomically comfortable. Therefore, it's going to be much more efficient. It's going to allow us to, to read more cases without fatiguing. The other thing that I attribute to digital in the line of efficiency is it's going to be very, it's going to be much easier for us to access information in real time. And the example that I'll use here is, is if we're looking at a, a re-excision of a breast um, specimen and we want to compare either the prior excision or the biopsy. In current practice, we have to go to the file or call someone to go to the file, bring the slide in, put that slide on the scope after we remove the other slide, the current slide, and do a comparison. With digital, we have a software program that's going to pull up the patient, bring up the current case, have the imaged histor historical material there available to us at a click of a button. We're going to click on that button, and we have, depending on the software system, the ability to put both slides on at the same time and compare much more efficient, much more quick. And I link those two things back to my belief that digital pathology is going to prove to be more efficient than, than reading glass. The other thing that I think it's going, to, it's going to do is it's going to help us as pathologists standardize our diagnoses. And the example I'll use, and, and pathologists will understand, there are threshold lesions in pathology. And one of the ones that we struggle with in, in breast pathology, as an example, is usual ductal hyperplasia for, against atypical ductal hyperplasia. At what point does it go from usual to atypical? What are the mor morphologic features? Are they reproducible enough so that if we are all looking at the same slide, we are all going to end up agreeing on which of those two diagnoses to, to put forward? And the reason why digital pathology is going to help us standardize this is it's going to allow us to bring pathologists together and review using and seeing on the same seeing the same thing on the computer screen so that we can have very robust consultations and educational discussions over some of these findings. So I believe it's that digital is going to improve standardization. The other thing digital is going to do is it's going to allow us real time access to expertise. And the example I'll use is let's say I have a, a difficult liver biopsy in one of my outlying hospitals and my hepatopathologist is at a different hospital. Current state, I've got to get that slide via a courier to my hepatopathologist. With digital pathology and the, the right software system, the outlying pathologist can send that image immediately to the digital pathologist who can pick that up, put it on his screen, and the two pathologists together can review the same image on the screen. Very powerful, a very nice way to improve the way we take care of patients because it's going to, be, it's going to allow us to access expertise. Now, it's also going to be disruptive because as it becomes more easy to send, these, send our cases to experts, how do we envision the market falling out? For a practice like mine, I want to hold on to the pathology that we do in our hospitals, and so I have to have my experts available rather than the market forcing us to go to a tertiary center expert to review um, more and more cases. Digital pathology is going to allow my practice to stay in the game, so to speak. Also, the advantage of digital versus glass is digital is portable, right? If you want to send the glass slide to, as an example, if we make a diagnosis and the patient's going to be referred to a tertiary center for tertiary radiotherapy or something along those lines, we have to send the slide to the tertiary center, and that involves the patient or the family picking up the slide or FedEx delivery. With digital, we can just post that slide, and I think eventually we're going to be doing more and more of this with our uh, referrals so that they can pick up that digital image quickly and easily. And when you put all this together, I'm a believer that in the end, digital pathology is going to improve quality and, and, and safety to patient care. And that's a good thing. 